All right, so welcome back to Aussie Arvos. Today we're at Murrindindi State Forest and we've got a stew bait. No, 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 no. It's the Aussie Arvos world famous stew. Oh, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got our little work fan set up here bike ramp, chopping board, onion. So, first, we're going to be searing the onion and the garlic. So, James knows how to cut the onions the best, apparently. He's going to be crying in a minute. So, yeah, this stew's being cooked in. If you have a look, you can see we've got the pot on the fire now. Um, Just warming up, preheating. Warming up, preheating. I haven't made a stew in like five months, I reckon. But... This knife is filthy. This is hilariously <laughs> dirty. Yeah. You go all the way? Yeah, you got to go to the bottom, man. Bigger pieces of onion never a bad thing anyway like it um in a meal like a stew it doesn't matter how big the onion is it goes down well so i call that done we bought a whole clove of garlic you like garlic don't you garlic yeah. is good for you yes. how do we get this garlic Look, it's got shit growing on it you went to iga <laughs> how do locals like it james covered in dirt covered. one or two cloves you reckon patrick uh fuck it go go to garlic's good for you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it'll stop coronavirus yeah no <laughs> no we're not allowed to say that we're not allowed to say that no <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> if I can... This is old footage. We don't know what that is yet. We're doing it right. We're fine. No, we're not breaking any rules. We're not breaking any rules right now. We're lifted. all good. We're okay. We're Set allowed to be like a foot apart making food together. Yeah, it's fine. No, no, we live together. It's fine. Yeah. Patrick's my boyfriend. No, let's not put ideas in their head. <laughs> We'll have a we'll have a fan fiction like uh, no stop because <laughs> Patrick neglected to bring us a garlic crusher. <laughs> With what are you? I don't carry one on me. I'm sorry. Oh, I've yeah. peeled the garlic and you just give it a just like that. So we're gonna be using vegetable oil for this. You can use whatever oil you want. We just had this because we deep fry a lot of stuff, so we have this in the calf. Don't use too much because it does get quite uh, oily, just a smidge. That's all you really don't want. A, you really don't want a lot of it. Good for deep frying, and that's about it. So now it's time. Yep. All right, so while James is doing that, I'm going to start cutting up the vegetables. Um, we've got some potatoes, uh, we've got sweet potatoes, and carrots. Do them whatever size you want, it really doesn't matter. The key to this is like, it's, do, it's choose your own dimension, do it however you want. So we're just using some basically diced up beef. Um, Pre-diced beef. Easy, use whatever you want, but yeah, that's what we're using tonight. We usually use um, just a beef stock just to get it going and then you can like use water or a beer or whatever you want to use for the rest of it. Obviously, can't disclose the location. Yeah, we got a pretty, pretty uh, awesome view tonight um, and it's good weather. Not much protection from the wind, but it's an epic spot to camp. Like it's, it's I love it, it's the best. Oh yeah. We're also gonna be adding some rice later, extra little bit of food. But yeah, it's pretty much do it however you'd like to do it. The longer you cook it, the nicer it'll be. Oh, for sure, yeah. The longer, yeah, it's all about time. So it's probably about four o'clock now, um, and we probably want it on there for at least three hours. For a world famous stew, it's very, uh, make it up as you go along. Ah, oh, well, that's just, Oh, if you, know, you want to add a cucumber to it, add a cucumber yeah. to it. Yeah. Why not? They, they refuse to put mushrooms in there. Yeah, no, we don't put fungus in this. No. Patrick hates mushrooms. I'm not putting a fungus. Let us know in the comments if you agree if, if fungus is bad. No, mushrooms are fungus. You don't want that, you don't want to be eating that. <laughs> right, we're gonna chuck the uh, the beef stock in. Uh, Ryan, you wanna cook a couple beers ready? Yeah, right, yeah. What, you got northern or something? Yeah. So, we'll bring this to the boil, and then we'll take it off the heat, off the direct heat, and put it next to the fire. Club. Oh yeah, I've got the fuel Just in all sorts of... So you just sort of mix it up with... I mean, you can put a cut and dry or a great north. Any light sort of beer goes well because it's not um, over the top. Like, I wouldn't be putting VB in, but be my guest to try. Great north tastes like water. <laughs> we like to mix things up here at Aussie Arbos. We've got a can and now we've got a bottle. Yeah, bottles are better in my opinion. More classy, especially going into a stew. Just better tasting. Gives you the placebo effect that you're drinking more high you class go. drink. But yeah. bottles aren't great for camping. Make, Make sure you take your, your glass. Take your shit home. So now that James has got that going, I'm going to cut up the rest of the vegetables. Exactly. We're just going to add some sweet potato to it because sweet potato is amazing. And it's a super versatile vegetable that's easy to transport, transport store. This particular transport. potato has been in Patrick's Progero for oh, months. It's actually, it's actually months. grown months, in size since it's been in there. Oh, yum. <laughs> in we go. What is that? It's a, it's a, it's a Patrick, you can dock with him. Right, get a shot of that. 
the fire! Hey, get a shot of that. Let me ride on that. Riley, don't you bitch turn around. I demand you to feel that way. <laughs> That's it. Nothing <laughs> frightens a Triton. Oh, yeah. We've got everything in there. That's a potato properly. stew. It's properly got shit. All right, so we've just got everything on. It's simmering away nicely next to the fire. We'll just leave it for a couple of hours. Come back and stir it every 15, 20 minutes. We'll let you know how it goes. Yep. I get up in the evening And I ain't got nothing to say Come up in the morning To go to bed feeling the same way I ain't nothing but tired Man, am I just tired and bored with myself? Hey there, baby. I can use just a little. You can't start a fire. You can't start a fire without a spark. This gun's for liars. Even if we're just dancing. So the stew is still stewing away, and just for a appetizer, I'm gonna put on some chips. So appetizer. we're just gonna deep fry yes, some potatoes. I kind of just cut them as in chip shapes. Um, so I just put them onto a pan. This is gonna be just like a shallow fry sort of thing, nothing like crazy. And we'll see how it goes. So James doesn't think that frying them on the fire is a good idea. So he's going to fry like fry these on the barbecue. So the canola. Try you with one of Patrick. <clears throat> Best invention on the page. All right, so we have the first sample of well, look at the, the chips, How do you get the and light in there? I don't know. It cranks the ISO. Oh my god! Do you hear that? Honestly, have one. We have better, James. I win. I win. I win. I'm sorry. These are half the size. Well, James. I win. Holy shit. Yeah, better. I'm sorry, honey. They are Twice the time. Yeah. More coming on. You know what we should try? Let's turn the lights up. Let's get their want. reaction. Oh. So we've got the uh, rice on in the kettle, and we've got the uh, the Can stew producing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna see that. Oh yeah, that's that's some rice. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> and the stew's, and the stew's <laughs> reducing. So what you want to do is you're gonna like, really depending on you, but I like it to be nice and really thick. And with the potato we put in there, that should like mush down. To make it really, really thick. Dan, what do you think of the chips? These are some of the best chips I've ever eaten. Oh, thank you. And I've eaten a lot of chips. But yeah, well, they're on bead locks, and I've got them, right? and it's bead. So, James, what have you added to it? Rice, and I think we're done. I'm gonna take it off now. Rice. I've got a bug. Coming over with a hot pot. All right, who wants their gruel? The serving of gruel. Yeah, it looks oh, like it looks like gruel. Do you want some bread, Patty? Oh, yes, please, mate. Oh, thanks, James. Oh my God, that's some that's some good shit right there. Thank you. <laughs> looks very um. It doesn't look the best, but it's all about taste it's here. All about, does it taste like sand? No, it does not. Oh, well, that's been too much dirt. Is that, is that, you count that as a positive? Yes, when, there's, when it tastes like sand, you know there's this spilt stuff in it. No. That's, that's good. Like Excellent, that's good. What do you think, Ryan? That's good. You gotta Look go. in a mirror. <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> Meat is soft. It's good. All right, well, that's it. We're uh, having our stew here, having a good time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, get subscribed, and we'll see you in the next video.